Yeah, here we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is RJ, and welcome to. I've done so many takes on this, and I. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature. <laughs> welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. I still can't pronounce that correctly because it. This feels so weird. Look, look, look at this. Look, look at what you're watching right now. Look at what I'm seeing. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. It's been a while. Hello everyone. Now I don't know anything about this game. So I can't tell you anything else about this game other than it's from Steam and it's a horror game. <laughs> so I got it downloaded and everything. Let's click new game, shall we? Let's just get hop right on into the mm, this is a messed up intro. Woo! <clears throat> Now it's got really good re Hey! Who is this? This auto save load setting. How do I skip you? Let's go. Okay. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Okay, this is I was told this was a I saw on the, the Steam screenshots that this was more of a visual novel, so I don't know where the horror aspect comes here. But you know, let's play because it's got great reviews. And I have no idea. I have seen no gameplay at all. Anyway, shh, shh, RJ, go ahead. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Ooh. Okay. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself make it today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. That's sad. Okay. But if she's going to chase me after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> What's wrong here? Running away, why? However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Whoa! Hello, Sayori. <laughs> Should I do a little girl voice for this? <laughs> this is amusing. <laughs> I'm too hyped up. Okay. This is horrible. Okay. Shush. Ha! 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 I'm digging myself into a hole. I overslept again! <laughs> okay. I caught you this time. Oh shit. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe, because, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Have you clicked out of the video yet? Out of annoyance? And cringe? Because I would have if I was me. Oh, I'm RJ. Hey. Yay! You say that you, you were thinking about ignoring me. <laughs> I'm gonna post this on the internet. <laughs> That's mean, RJ. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. If, if you don't enjoy this, mute until I finish this whole disastrous intro production and we'll come back. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Jeez. <clears throat> Whoa! Oh! I... I'm RJ. <laughs> I... I was voicing... <laughs> so this is Sayori, I was... What? But... Okay, okay. Okay, okay. This is Sayori now, I was voicing me, uh, voicing a girl, and... Okay, let's, let's do this. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Can I do a normal voice for this, please? Okay, that's me. That's me talking. Whatever you say, Sayori. Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. So there's phlegm in my throat, jeez Louise. By the way, RJ. You sound like Mickey Mouse. Have you decided to want a club to join yet? A, a club? I told you already, I'm not really, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. 
You told me you would join a club this year. Just embrace the voice, okay, everyone? Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. You know, because she's Sayori. Just over there. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content with just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Because that's me. Games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I worry that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Hey! How dare you, Sayori? I don't like you anyway. <laughs> I know how to socialize, okay? Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Oh, you just regained everything that I've you've lost towards me. Well, and I know you're happy now. <coughs> you thought. <laughs> But I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What is a neat? What's a neat? What is this? It sounds like an elite group of things. You know I'm rambling on. Let's just go. You trust me, right? Yeah, I do. Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Sayori. No promises, though. But you at least promise me You'll try a little? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Mario! Why do I let, why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Mm. Where's my games and anime? Mm. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. Okay, now I feel like I'm the mean one here. I guess seeing her worry so much makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. All right, we're in the classroom now. The school day is as ordinary as ever. I didn't know this was a narration game, holy crap. And it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly into the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. Ugh. I guess I have no choice but to start with, an an with the anime club. See, that's what I like. Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out, staring blankly into a wall over there. Look at that, it's drying up! I'm, as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun with this. You may not be having a lot of fun with this. And in that case, that's the case, just mute me. I don't blame you. Okay, let's let's stop with the you know, breaking the fourth wall and just get... Let's immerse ourselves, alright? Let's immerse ourselves into this visual horror novel game. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. What do I sound like? Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed! Who? You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought... No, some encouragement. Mm, mm, nudge, nudge. No, what? Huh. And clueless as I am. Well, that you can come to my club. Say or me. Yeah? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. No way. Yeah? Meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Hey, why not? Let's join the literature club. Literature club? Why not? Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Okay. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Yeah, I hope this is recording, by the way. If not, this, this would have been a huge loss to human society because this is hilarious. You know, each and every second quality content. Since she was the first one to show interest after the... After the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President! That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. I'm the meanie, jeez. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of... With, with a raised rump and some fingers, touting like this. Cute little thing. The rump raise. 
I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh dear goodness, I'm gonna do voices for more women. <coughs> I hope I don't offend anyone, anyone. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop. Okay, leave in the comments down below if you want me to stop doing girl voices. Don't make promises you can't keep. That applies to real life, by the way. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Because cupcakes are amazing. Yay, let's go! <coughs> I feel like my nose is bleeding. <laughs> and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for the what? Cupcake? I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for used for third year classes and activities. And I feel like oh my I feel like my throat has blood in it. Ooh, that's, that's a little bad. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Bada bing boom wait. Bada bing boom bam slams the door open. Hello everybody, let's make let's get some cup cupcakes. Okay? Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Oh, I told you, don't call me a new member. I'm gonna, should I edit this and cut out a lot of crap that I say? Yeah. I glance around the room. Who? Hi. Hello, purpley hair woman. Girl number one. She looks a bit more uh, royal. So. Welcome to the literature class. Welcome to the literature Okay. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I know 99% of you have clicked out of the video in there already, and if you've stayed this far, why are you here? <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Who's this now? Seriously? You brought a boy? I have no idea what I'm doing. Way to kill the atmosphere. Another one. Ah, oh, Arte! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club, they're all women. Not that I might know. Okay, green eyes, pink, and purple. Okay. All words escape me in the situation because I'm surrounded by all of this estrogen here. This club is <laughs> Full of incredibly cute girls! Okay, that's how anime, you know, guys would. That's how they would react to that, right? <laughs> it's full of incredibly anime cute girls! Okay. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! So, so, sorry. I only, you know, my nose bled. Oh, that's why my nose feels like it's bleeding. Just for this moment right here. Oh my goodness, I can smell it. Natsuki! <coughs> Humph! The girl, the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. The one in the middle, by the way. The cute brunette's right now. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Good first impressions, man. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Cool. Oh, and that's Sayori, okay. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh, okay. Oh, she's blushing now. Sayori says that... <laughs> Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. There are three girls in total. We got Sayori, we got... Anyway, that's... <laughs> I suck, okay? Calm, before you burn me in the comments down below, or burn me in your personal hell that is your mind, Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. The royal looking one, isn't it? Yep. Don't say things like that. You know, screw the girl voices, I'm just gonna do my ordinary voice. Unless you want me to do the girl voice. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Ah, well, 
It's nice to meet both of you. <laughs> Full of cute girls! <laughs> and it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Another one! Hello! That's right. It's great to see you again, RJ. I don't know who you are. Who? Raise the rumpus and... It's pretty. Who? Raise it. Monica smiles sweetly. I'm going crazy. I'm too hyperactive for this one. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Okay. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart. Beautiful. Athletic. <laughs> Full of cute girls. Basically, completely out of my league. Well... Okay. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Woo! I'm dripping. Feels a little what, huh? <laughs> you... You... You too, Monica. Monica? How do you... How do you pronounce this in Japanese? Is this Japanese, even? Monica. Okay, I'm gonna go with Monica. Monica. I'm sorry I don't offend. I hope I don't offend anyone here. <laughs> Come sit down, RJ! We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me, Monica! Uh, I'll get the cupcakes! Bring on the cupcakes, baby! Alright. <laughs> hey, I made them! I'll get them! Sorry, I get a little too excited. Then, <clears throat> then how about I make some tea as well? Shit. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop the girl voice, except for Sayuri. As Sayuri mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Is this how long is this? Okay, let's go. Let's fast forward a little bit. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. It's Okay, now let's take a seat next to the- I forgot the name. <laughs> Natsuki proudly marches back into the table, tray in hand. BAM! Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> I'm clearly having too much fun with all of this. Okay. <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes Decorated to look like little cats. Oh, wow. Give me your cupcakes. Let's go. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. How cute. Oh, exactly. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Filled with voice cracks everywhere. <laughs> well, you know. Let's add a bit of sarcasm to her voice, alright? It's a Natsuki. Okay. Just hurry and take one! <laughs> oh, you yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna take all of them. Sayuri grabs one first, then Monica, and I follow. Because I came here for cupcakes! Okay. It's delicious! Sayuri talks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her face. Good work! <laughs> sure, the icing on your face. Where is the icing on your face, anyway? I turn the cupcake around my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite because we need to contemplate this while surrounded by full of cute girls and, you know, look cool as I eat a cupcake that is made to look like a cat. So, let's take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? <sighs> Insert meme with all of the mathematical equations here. What? I finally bite down. Chomp. The icing. The icing is sweet and full of shit. Okay. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's, it's, not, it's not like I... I mean, I heard this somewhere before. Is that me? Who's talking? Made them for you or anything. It's not like I, I, I made them for you. <laughs> Blush. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe! Okay. But not for you, you know, you, you, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. 
Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Woo! Cupcakes and tea, baby! Woo! She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the holy crap, this is a lot of reading. This is just 20 minutes of me reading. Is this a game or is this more? It, it is a visual novel. This is this a game? Okay. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Wow. Don't. Okay, that's hard. That's hard. And pose. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm out of frame and everything. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Hmm. Okay, that's bad. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, ah I, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let you guess, get yourself intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Oh! Ah! That's, that's, that's not... You. Insulted, Yuri looks away. Sexily. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Personally, I don't enjoy tea. <laughs> I mean, of course, I am drinking ginger tea every morning, which is not the most pleasant thing in the world. I'm glad. Kiri faintly smiles to herself in relief. I should have a narrator voice as well. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what would you consider this li the literature club? Let's give her a bit of an athletic voice, you know, a little, a little peppy. Oh, that. <clears throat> and let's give me a nerdy look. This nerd. <clears throat> um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayuri seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? I feel like this whole game is insinuating something. Hmm. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica! I'm, su I'm surprised! How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs because you're so popular and athletic and... Whew. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, Raise rumpus and skirt. Ah, well, you know. Voice cracks everywhere. I've already passed... I'm, I'm already past my puberty, okay? To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs and all the drama. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Wait, am I, am I playing this game wrong? What is this? Are there choices to this game? Am I playing this wrong? Okay, Mulligan here. Uh. Uh. I think I was supposed to make. Huh? Wait. What is this? Was I supposed to make decisions? Where? Where was I supposed to make decisions? What's this skip? Okay, am I on auto skip? Wait, 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 Okay. Alright. Okay, let's save. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's all the time I have for today. <clears throat> for this one. Yeah, let's read the last one. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. I'm so out of place here. Anyway, let's save. And get to this empty slot. And whoa, that was easy. Alright, I'm gonna try to figure this out and see if I've been skipping the decision-making in this game. And... 
yeah, that's just... Alright. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed this one. And, you know, stay tuned for part 2 or 3 or 4. And if you not didn't enjoy this, you can hit the dislike button if you want. Hit or like, dislike. It's fine. And, you know, leave a comment down below only if you want to. Just, I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care, stay safe, stay awesome. It's good to be back, baby. Bye! I forgot where the record was. Okay, bye! <laughs> Woo, that was a mouthful. Bye!